Brady. Pickups. Pickups. Yeah. Pickups. Play and trade. You go. you know I, I like to go pick up at some play and trade. I like play and trade. A lot of videos consist of pickups from play and trade. Our play and trade is going out of business. There will never be another pickups video from play and trade because we just got everything from play and trade that we could ever want. We just cleared out that store. Of what we wanted. Of anything. Of anything did. that was worthwhile. And we're so, not even sure exactly what we got. Basically, we got a box for everything in this box that I'm going to show you was yeah. thirty dollars. We just the, we just we walk in there, guys. Like you know, hey, what's going on? We're like we're retro collectors. Do you have anything that's retro? And he says nothing. You know, nothing <laughs> in the back, unmarked. Until he goes in the back, checks out, and says retro Jaguar games. Says this might interest you guys. And he just does one of these numbers. So, let us begin, shall we? Obviously, I need a new, uh, another Dreamcast controller. Oh yeah, that was picked up separately. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. All together. Yeah, found this un in the case uh, under glass. It's an actual Atari brand video touchpad um, with uh, all 12 buttons. Um, has the slots for the inserts that clip in for each of the games. Atari brand um, with the original serial con uh, connector. Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. Incredible game. <laughs> and win back. And if anyone who knows uh, our old bro stream, uh, the two of us playing that game together, it is the most challenging game for two people to use one controller on. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when the blobs come in. Oh, the blobs. You'll have to uh, check out our stream on lemonredvolution.us to understand what the blobs are. So, anyways, in here we found Jag for Jaguar CD Highlander, the last of the McLeods for Jaguar McLeod. CD. Doesn't come with the box, but it comes with the manual CD and the case. Same with Blue Lightning. Now, mind you, I don't have a Jaguar at all, but to find a box full of Atari and Jaguar shit for roughly $30, hell yes, yeah. $20. Oh, yeah, oh, yo, yeah. yeah, by the way, this box, flat rate, guy just said, make me an offer. He says $20. Guy says, it's yours. Any one of these games could be worth $20 on their own. Oh, yeah. 2601, first run game for the fucking Atari 2600. VIP grid for the Jaguar Bid CD. Vid grid. Vid grid. Yes. That's right. That's right. It's, uh, it's a game that um, you do uh, music videos. They're scrambled up yes. music videos. You just unscramble yes. them. They actually use this on Nick Arcade. Really? Yes. That's funny. That's one of the arcade games that they play is VidGrid. Oh, wow. That's right. They don't call it VidGrid, but... No. Now we go on to the Jaguar cartridge games. We got Zool 2, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. That's such a great game. Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Another fucking incredible game. Where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn to fly? Where did you learn Cybermorph. to fly? Cybermorph. <laughs> what a great game. And the memory track multimedia player accessory to the Jaguar CD. I guess this allowed you to play music CDs on the Jaguar CD. You had to have this plugged in, apparently. Oh, man. Another copy of Zool 2. <laughs> Another copy of Dragon. <laughs> Club Drive. No clue what that is. No. It's one of the few games that have, in history that have escaped my uh, knowledge. Checkered, Checkered flag. flag. That's a classic. Well, it looks like we gotta go to another track. Cybermorph. That next one should be good. I War. Supercross 3D. 
Gotta love 3D games. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another checkered flag. With a P on it. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, whoever. Yeah, yeah, thank you, P. And another dragon. What a great game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Now. Well, let's try to... Uh, we literally have still this whole box. Yeah. Corner, corner to corner of Atari 2600 games. Well, no, this, there's other shit in here, too. Uh, uh, yeah. We've got this Mattel brand uh, 2600 compatible game, um, which is Super Challenge Football from Singapore. Uh, Atlantis. Oh, what, what's that? Uh, it's, oh, that's for the Magic. Oh, my God. Cybermorph. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that's oh right! Oh my god! Forgot about this. Trevor McFur. In the it Crescent Galaxy. It's, uh, that and Cybermorph were the two release games for the Jaguar. Um, the thing about Trevor McFur, that game was a complete rushed failure. It was, um, not supposed to be a release title, but they did not want to release it with only the package in-game and nothing else to purchase. So they had to rush that one, and it was a piece of shit. We got Buck Rogers. Holy shit. Asteroids. Buck Rogers. I love Buck Rogers. By Sega. Yep. For the Atari 2600. One of the first Sega games. I love that. The mold. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Easy grip. Easier to pull the game out. Circus. Yep. You what's, ever wanted to be in a circus? What's the model this number? not the game. 2641? 26, no, 26.30. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Now, Buckskin, as well as I, have a copy of this. He can finally catch up to me. Well, oh, can, yeah, can yeah, catch yeah. up to me. No, you've just surpassed the hell out of me as far as 2600 goes, but that was, that was the one big title that I had that you didn't. Canyon Bomber. Barnstorming. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh! <laughs> yeah, like that game needs an introduction. <laughs> I got rid of my last copy, and I just it keeps coming back to haunt me. Yeah, you can't, right. you can't keep a good E.T. down. Is this, this is three telegrams. Oh, yeah, it's a three-in-one. Yeah. It's a three-in-one cartridge. One, three, football. Oh, yeah, here we go. We got, we picked up, count them, uh... One, two, and three copies of Combat. Two of the original run with just the text, and one with the the uh, reproduction with the picture. The Adventures of Tron. In Tron. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. That card is just crazy looking. And I, we have to plug it in to find out if it, if it has... I mean, that might actually be the one that has both deadly discs and the light cycle race. Oh, that'd be cool. Which means you wouldn't have to worry. Um, Asteroid Blast and Space Attack, which were just knockoffs of, of course, Asteroids and Space Invaders. Another Defender. The original Asteroids. Star Raiders. Whoa! Lost a copy of Combat. <laughs> Defender. Asteroids. Outlaw. That looks cool. Yeah, no clue about that one. Outlaw. Oh, Star Raiders. Game to use the uh, touchpad for. Dolphin. Nice glitch track. Oh, another copy of Combat. So that's four. <laughs> Video Olympics. Ooh, something in there. Oh, no, it's just four. Pole position two. Classic. Classic. Pole position one. <laughs> that needs to stay together <laughs> forever. Cosmic art. And for uh, all my veteran buddies, we got Mash. 3D tic tac toe. Because if tic tac toe wasn't intense enough. Another cosmic art. This is kind of cool. This is a blueprint by CBS Electronics. CBS Electronics only existed until 83, late 83. They uh, they went down, um, 
there are just a lot of third party issues, a lot of bootleg shit. Uh, just was not good. They scrapped the whole game development project. Space Invaders without the picture. Towering Inferno. <laughs> oh, Space Invaders is a little shaky. I'll have to tighten it up. Mm. Oh, Raiders of the Lost oh. Ark. Oh! A second copy of Pole Position. A Pac Man. Oh, you got a Miss Pac Man in here somewhere, I think. Pele! Fishing Derby? Sounds hardcore, man. Yeah. Football. Boxing. Look at them graphics. Look at how badass some graphics are. You're like right in the ring with them. Another uh, missile command. Another copy of combat. Another copy of combat. <laughs> Repro. Repro. Mega Mania by Activision. By Activision. Ah uh, yes, and Berserk. That's a classic. Yes, very fun. Laser Blast, which is apparently uh, looks like a uh, a missile command clone, but with uh, aliens instead of just missiles. Sears Space Combat. Brain Strainers, I'm guessing is a, uh, Another I'm guessing it's a, it's a, uh, Another Fishing Derby. More Space Invaders. <laughs> Got Breakout and Breakthrough. Oh, wow. Yeah. Here's another copy of Space Invaders. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Enduro. I've never heard of this before. What is it? Star Fox. What? <laughs> I don't know. Well then, we'll have to look this one up. Yeah, it's um, it's Enduro. it's it's not licensed by Atari, so I mean, another barnstorming, chopper command, shoddy construction on the cartridge, yeah. missile command, I'll have to clean that out and fix it, laser blast, haunted house, <laughs> skydiver. Scary! Human Cannonball! Yars Revenge. Another copy. Yeah. Six telegames. Yeah, nice little six and one. What's that? Curveball, blah, 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 blah. Vanguard! Superman! Man of Steel. Moon Patrol. Control the moon in Moon Patrol! Moon Patrol! Patrol it. Ah. Oh, sorry. Nine telegames, super breakout, progressive, cavity, double. We got air sea battle and apparently a game called Adventure! 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 Golf! I can't wait to find out what adventure is about. <laughs> Mr. Do by Universal Studios for oh, the ColecoVision. Mr. Do. Another copy of Boxing with an incredible graphics. Thank you. 592 for writing your name there. Atlantis. <laughs> Fast Eddie. Eight Joust. exciting levels of play. Warlords. Home run. And last but not least, Beanie Bopper. Beanie Bopper. Sounds wow. dirty. Oh my god. That's a shit ton of games. So yeah, um, needless to say, I'm probably going to be selling off a good amount of these, um, and or trading them. Yeah, so. um, $20 later, we could be very rich. Yeah, I mean, $20 for this whole box, so I'm going to get some profit, baby. Or at least some trades. If, and if there's some shit in here that, you know, you think you want, offer me a trade. I'll see what I can do, buddy. Plus, we're also uh, we're also talking about um, some raffles or a uh, little, uh, you know, just air little... sea battle sticker. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> um, yeah, we're we're talking about doing some raffles. There's some little competitions, little fun games. Uh, win some prizes, win some old retro shit. Um, and uh, don't forget to uh, check the link down at the bottom and uh, check out our gaming website where we play video games and you get to 
listen to us and watch us. And chat. talk to us and harass us. And harass us. And we get to harass you while you troll us. And you get to watch me be a scumbag streamer and try to glitch through walls and fail. And then, yeah. <laughs> so, uh... It's good times when we're not streaming. We have, um, essentially pirate television. <laughs> 24 hours of good old televised. And always growing. And, uh... It's just good times. It's always good times. It's like having a, having a good old living room in the 90s that you always wanted back when you were a kid. Alrighty. Well, um, I'll end this video as soon as I can get to the mouse. Yeah, we're kind of digging for the mouse right now. Um, so, yeah. It was fun times. It's sad that, you know, the playing trade's going on. Oh, those are my business. cigarettes, not a game. I know it's a retail store. But still, I really enjoyed it. it they didn't it rape was, you. They it was one you. of the few retail stores you could actually get good stuff, yes. and they would they wouldn't charge you completely yeah. retail prices. You could actually, you know, you could actually have a chance of getting something and making something from it. Yeah. Plus, it was nice if you're just working on your game room. And that guy, when he gave this, you know, sold this box for twenty bucks. Not only did we have smiles, but for some reason he had smiles. Yeah. He had a kick out of getting rid of this whole box to us for 20 bucks. Even though he just got raped. He did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We didn't get raped. No, no, no. I said he. It sounded like we. Oh. Moth. I said he. I had the rape. Yeah, I don't know who you have. We de he definitely got hey, raped. Hey, mouse. Okay. See you guys later. Check the link. We're there. <laughs>